solar residential, solar power systems, solar electric, solar hot water, uh, solar pool systems, rain floor, and electric vehicle charging stations. Uh, I've been in the industry personally for about 10 years, started in distribution uh, a couple years, a couple years in manufacturing for PD Power, the inverter manufacturer in Bend, if you guys have heard of them. And then been on Sunlight Solar for about five years. Having a lot of fun. Does anybody in the room have solar power? Raise your hand. Anybody have solar power? No? Anybody see? You have solar power? Solar electric or solar hot water? Uh, a little bit of both. A little bit of both, really? On your house? Yeah. Yeah? Green time? Green time. Green time. Cool, right on. 2KW? No, no, no. Uh, small system. Five small five. system. Yeah. All right, all right. Put you on the spot, huh? Yeah. Um, okay. So good. Where do we start? So solar electric, solar hot water, this is uh, the Hickman family, one of our customers in Hillsboro. Residential installation, they have a 4.5 kilowatt solar electric system right there on the right hand side, grid tie system. On the left there, they have a, uh, a single sunner, four by eight, I believe it is, solar hot water collector. Um, talk about quickly the difference between solar hot water and solar electric, you may know, but solar electric takes light energy from the sun, photons of light, and converts it into usable electricity. And solar hot water takes heat energy from the sun and preheats your water uh, so that your hot water heater, your water heater does less work in the end, so it saves you uh, energy there. Uh, and hopefully uh, money too, off your Northwest Natural, Cascade Natural, or if your water heater is electric, save you there too. Uh, solar electric, the system on the right feeds uh, a, a DC current right into an inverter. The inverter converts that to an alternating current, which is what PGE or Pacific Power, if that's your utility, that's what they provide, so that you can synchronize with the utility. And essentially what you're doing with a solar electric system is you're using the bat or the grid as your battery. You're exchanging power now with the grid. And uh, in the end, then uh, hopefully you're saving energy and money as well. That's Rodney Hickman. He works at Intel D1D. His wife, Cindy, their boy, Riley, who's a student at Oregon State. And the dog is Zippy Hickman. <clears throat> Zippy's a lot of fun. Um, so total solar resource, um, how we calculate how many kilowatt hours or how much electricity a solar power or a solar hot water system will create is based on several factors. Uh, one is the microclimate and one and another one is the difference in solar panels, efficiency of different solar panels, which is pretty minimal. Most solar panels across the board are you know, 15 to 20 percent efficient unless you're working for NASA and have a really, really, really big budget. Um, so we take microclimate and the difference in panels out, and now we have three things that affect the performance. There's the tilt, how many degrees off the zero, how many what angle of the solar panels is. There's the orientation, how many degrees east or west of south the panel space. Uh, and then there's the amount of shape. By far the most important factor is shape. We want as, as little shape as possible. Uh, and then from their orientation, and then from their tilt. As important as a little amount of shade is, uh, tilt is uh, equally as less important. If I say that right. Uh, it's not as important as the other two. Uh, but, but ideally, you'd like to get the, uh, the optimal of all of those to create the most kilowatt hours. Uh, local production capacity, so in Portland 1.08, what that means is a, let me give you a quick example, uh, a 100 watt light bulb, I know all of you probably have compact fluorescents and LEDs, but let's just say it's a 100 watt incandescent light bulb for the map, um, is a watt rating, and that's an instantaneous measurement of energy. A watt time over time is a watt hour. So if you burn a 100 watt light bulb for 10 hours, that's 1,000 watt hours. A kilo is a thousand, so one kilowatt hour, kilowatt hour, is equal to one 100 watt light bulb burning for 10 hours. That's what PGE or Pacific Power bills you for, that instantaneous energy over time. And so a kilowatt of solar is like the light bulb, a kilowatt hour is what the light bulb uses, or in this case, the solar array produces for you. Uh, in Portland, Metro, 
One kilowatt of solar will produce annually 1,000 kilowatt hours. So the average system size is a three kilowatt system. Annually, that will produce 3,000 kilowatt hours. So if you take a look at your PGE or Pacific Power Bill, on the top right-hand side, there's a bar graph there. And it gives you your daily kilowatt hour consumption. You do some math and multiply that by an average of 30 days a month times 12 months a year, you're going to come up with your annual usage. If you have a south-facing roof with very little shade, you can count on it being pretty close to 1,000 kilowatt hours per kilowatt. So a three kilowatt system would do about 3,000 kilowatt hours. The average usage in Oregon is about 12,000 kilowatt hours a year. So a three kilowatt system in, in Portland will do about a quarter. So on that way, about 25% of the electricity departments. Tilt orientation factor. So south is ideal. Uh, 10 to 35 degrees is most roofs around here. Is that a laser pointer? Yeah, thanks. Uh, 10 to 35 degrees. So assuming that the tilt is right there, just based on tilt and orientation of 140 to 220 degrees, 180 being true south, and the tilt of the roof, that's saying that that roof will do just about 100% of what the most optimal circumstance would be like out in the field. Perfect tilt, perfect orientation, absolutely no shade. So if you look over here to 75 to 105, that's east. An east-facing array will do a, just over four-fifths. 80% of what a south facing would do. If you look over here, a west facing array will do just over that, just over 80%. <coughs> Anybody make a guess on why a west facing would do a little bit more than an east around here? The morning haze, the morning fog, when that burns off in the morning, because now when you're east facing, the sun as it rises and that period between 8 and 11 a.m. becomes much more valuable now. And so if you have maybe some mountains or something in the horizon off on the east side, or you're trying to burn off uh, that morning fog or, or haze, then that's what happens here. So that's why the west facing will produce a little bit more than an east facing, assuming the same amount of shade. Solar electric panels, the, the different types. There's a monocrystalline, there's a polycrystalline, and then there's thin films and some cadmium telluride and SIGs and different ones. Um, a lot of, well, question that I get most of the time is, or a lot of the time is, I want to do shingles, or I want to do that roll up, the roll down laminate, or, or one of those technologies. The reason that you don't see those going up, you may have seen them, but the reason that you don't see them going up as much as the hard, rigid, uh, framed solar panel that sits on a racking system on a roof is because not only those monocrystalline and polycrystallines are the most efficient, they've also been around the longest and the manufacturing process has leaned itself out so that they can deliver that, that solar panel to me at a very competitive price and also uh, my overhead and labor associated with installing that solar panel compared to laying down 500 different shingles on a roof is a lot lower, so I can deliver, pass on, then a more competitive price to my customers with a more efficient panel. And that's why you see that technology is the dominant one in commercial or residential installations. Uh, the roof integration, so uh, a lot of times, like on a residential installation, uh, we'll have a racking system where we lag into the rafters. And on a commercial installation or some residential installations, this is called an S5 clip. That clips to the vertical seam on a metal roof, and then the panels clip right to that. 